free course, a trip, and an opportunity to learn something new? I'm in! Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Roxy. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to tell you about this book, Fog Island by Mariette Lindstein, a Swedish best-selling author who previously worked in the Church of Scientology for over 25 years. I would say that Fog Island falls into a category of psychological thriller. It is the first book of trilogy, but at the moment only the second book is available in English, which is Shadow of Fog Island, this one. I still have to read it though. Unfortunately, I will have to pass the fun fact about the author this time, because there are some contradictions about her life and I don't want to share any information with you that I'm not sure about. Anyways, this novel, Fog Island, is about a cult on island in Sweden. It starts off with a scene where the main character is running away from something and is desperately searching for a place to hide. It feels surreal and you're not quite sure if that is a dream or is happening for real. As soon as this question pops up, the story takes another turn and we realize that our main character is a young woman who recently graduated from a university and who is about to start her career in the world. She is full of dreams and hopes for the future. All is great, except for a fly in an ointment. The toxic relationship which she ended does not leave her. Her ex-boyfriend finds different ways to make her life miserable. It affects her mood and can also affect her future. To shake off her problems, she accepts an invitation to go to a lecture on how to improve your life. The person who gives the speech is very charismatic and attractive. He mostly talks about how important it is to live properly, eat healthy, sleep better and improve yourself. The lecture seems to be based on philosophy, science and researches, which prove that if you follow certain rules, the improvement of your overall life quality is guaranteed. But there is a catch. The rules and the teaching are secret. They are only available if you buy an expensive course and attend it in their hotel-like resort on an island. Wanting to find out more, the main character does not leave immediately after the lecture and surprisingly the orator approaches her to offer a job opportunity. Seeing the main character hesitating, he offers her a free course on an island to check the future workplace personally. After all, she could always reject the offer. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. Free course, a trip and an opportunity to learn something new? I mean. And the main character feels the same way. Once on an island, she feels as if she is on a holiday trip. Nature is beautiful, everyone is friendly, the food is healthy and delicious. Plus, she had a lot of spare time to relax. The daily tasks of the course were easy and they did improve her mood and made her feel special. So after the course was over, she decided to accept the job. At first, she was very happy with it, feeling as if she's working in a team whose aim is to make the life of the whole world better and to help people. But then, slowly, everything started to change. Bit by bit, in a seamless way, the employer by using guilt, emotional blackmail and continuous manipulations, turned things around, making all employees fear him and obey every word he says. That's when the main character realizes that the once happy place turned into a nightmare with no escape. It turned into a cult run by a madman who decides from now on who has the right to live and who has to die. 
Will the main character survive and be able to find a way to escape? I'm not going to tell you. You will have to find it out for yourself. Overall, I enjoyed reading this novel The Fog Island and would recommend it to anyone who is interested in the topic of cults, their psychological manipulations and all the tricks used by them to take the control of lives of others. This book illustrates very well some of their techniques. I love the way the author showed the atmosphere of the cult, the feelings of the characters and the development of the story. Mariette Lindstein did a great job at making me realize that, honestly, we are all at risk of becoming trapped in a cult, where our freedom will be taken away from us. But she also shows some warning signs which can help us to escape before it's too late. One minus point for me though was that there were inserts from like a diary by a different character. I felt that it broke the flow of the novel. But in the end I did realize why it was needed, but maybe there could be a more gentle way to work around it. So, what do you think of cults in general? And did you read this book as well? How did you find it? Let me know down in the comments below. I personally think that cult itself as an idea of an organization can be both good and bad. It all depends on the mission it has and on the ways it uses to achieve it. If in a cult people lose their freedom and are governed by fear, it's no good. Thank you for watching and if you liked my review, please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit the notification button. Also, please check out my stories which I wrote here and other books reviews here. See you soon. Bye.